Boxer by Ben Shalom on Sky Sports Box Office. Time now for action in your heavyweight division. Please welcome first to ringside, Jake Darnell. Quite extraordinary and very late notice opportunity for Black Bulls' Jake Darnell. He's had some white collar fights. He was in the workouts watching proceedings at the Trafford Centre. And it's a massive, massive step up to fight the multi decorated Fraser Clark. He couldn't be harder. He's telling everyone he wins. But it's Sunday football team. And now, please welcome your Tokyo 2020 bronze medalist and Team GB boxing captain, Big Phrase, Fraser Clark. Shalom live on Sky Sports box office is ready for six rounds of action in the heavyweight division. We introduce first the blue corner, making his debut as a professional in black and gold. He weighed in at 17 stone, 10 pounds and five ounces from Blackpool. Introducing Jake Darnell. Now, his opponent in the red corner, also making his debut as a professional, wearing the red and white, standing six feet six inches tall, and weighed in 18 stone, four pounds, from Burton on Trent, introducing once again your Tokyo 2020 Team GB captain and Olympic bronze medalist, Big Phrase Fraser. Your referee in charge, John Latham. Members, right as you'd expect from the ball, you obey the instructions at all times. When I tell you to break, you're both very clean. We 
defend yourselves at all times and the best loves you more. Touch gloves. So here we go as Fraser Clark swaps the Team GB amateur vest for his heavyweight professional dreams. Exciting times as he meets novice Jake Darnell, who has a serious mountain to climb on paper. It's all about really how Fraser Clark can look tonight. It's such an unexpected opportunity for Darnell, but good on him for taking it. Yeah, definitely, and he's, uh, we'll see if he's a rabbit in the headlights or if he can uh, land some punches on Fraser. But he's getting, his, he's trying to get his jab off. He's uh, looking for the right hand as well. Clark standing so tall, six foot six. Weighed in at over 18 stone, looking for the uppercut early body shots as well. Can bang Fraser Clark as well as utilising those boxing skills. Likes to tear up too. He does, and I, I had him in sparring with Derek Shizora for the Parker fight, and I'll tell you what, he can stand on the inside and deliver some wicked, vicious uppercuts and hooks. He likes to mix it up between head and body, and obviously his stature, he's got a great jab as well. Body shot there with the left hook, and again, Fraser Clark going through the combinations. So much target there to aim at. Yeah, Darnell standing strong for now. Just going to say, Fraser landed a good body shot there, and Darnell took it well. Just the speed and quality and blood already for Darnell to have to deal with. He's wide open for these body shots, and the jab just thumping home. I think because of the still the issues with COVID and the travel, it's been difficult getting Fraser Clark international opponents over. So, you know, well done for them finding this guy brave, Jake yeah. Darnell, but he's woefully out of his depth. Yeah, he's out of his depth, but he's, listen, he's showing a lot of heart here because we've seen before where we've had opponents just drop on the floor. Big right hand, John Latham already having a very close look. It's so one-sided, the towel's in. First round stoppage victory for seal one for Big Fraze. He won't mind one little bit. The professional journey is up and running. Let's put it into context. He was expected to win and win like that. A little kiss for the footballer who might make it back to the northeast to play tomorrow morning. Jake Darnell, one up for taking it at short notice. But it was a mismatch. Fraser Clark can only do what he was asked to do, and Matt, he did it well. Yeah, I mean, look, Donald, massively out of his depth. We know Fraser Clark is levels and levels above, but, you know, his pro career is up and running now, he's 1-0, and, oh, and he's going to have much stiffer tests ahead, and uh, we look forward to seeing it. Pretty painful to see, to be honest. It was a mismatch, but... Yeah, you credit Jake Darnell for coming in at short notice when no one else wanted to. It's tough for the matchmakers, but Fraser Clark wanted to fight on a night like tonight, and he has delivered what the fans want to see. Yeah, and when you listen, when you don't have an opponent last minute, you've got to get who you can get. And when people don't step up, and then you find this man here, he steps up, Darnell, and he goes in there, and he didn't jump on the floor as soon as he got hit. Like Matt said, he was taking some good body shots, some good head shots, and it was his core that looked after him and fair play to him. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, he, he sucked it up, didn't he? There were some really hard body shots went in there. He took the wild. It was a good uppercut too. And, uh... Fraser Clark just spotted Connor Ben alongside us, commentating for talk sport. And a big smile went on. Everybody in boxing seems to love big phrase. And they want to see him do so well. Well, it's the perfect start. It's a first-round knockout in his professional debut and he can enjoy the rest of the night. This contest came to a halt two minutes and six seconds into round number one, declaring your winner by a referee stop contest, Big Phrase, Fraser! So the 30-year-old from Burton-upon-Trent, the multi-decorated amateur, 
of course, proving way, way, way too much for the brave Jake Darnell, but it is up and running for Big Fraze. And it was an excellent combination burst, a finish. The towel went in, John Lathan, I think at the same time, was stepping in, yep. And it was all over in the first. phrase the journey is underway professional boxing it's not the smoothest route it's been a week of changes of opponent due to covid but you can only focus on what you've done tonight talk us through it and how happy are you with that no you know i'm under no illusions that you know that opponent was probably no disrespect but a bit of a soft touch but i'm in boxing to box everything that goes on behind the scenes and you know the dreaded covid stuck struck and uh, you know my opponent original opponent can be here then it was chops and changes with other opponents and medical issues. A nightmare in the build-up, but my job was to get in here and do what I do best. Yeah, well, that's all part of the experience. From what we did see tonight, I talked to your trainer, Angel Fernandez, before this, and he said, I told Fraser, put his Olympic medal in the bin, not literally, but you're starting again and you're starting fresh. What was it in the professional ring that you felt that you showed us tonight that perhaps was a slightly different from the amateur game? What's the one big difference? Um, not a lot. I tried to slow it down a bit, didn't try to rush. Um, I had the perfect opponent to do that, you know, it wasn't, there wasn't much coming back. But I understand there's still a long way to go, you know. Um, I'm not quite where I want to be physically yet, um, but I will get there in the upcoming camps. But, you know, that was just, that was just a, smid, a smidget of uh, what I'm about, you know. The better the opponent, the better our box, and uh, it's just the start of the journey. I said it before and I'll say it again, I want to continue learning, I've got loads to learn, and I'll listen to my coach and the people around me and I'll just do just that. At the same time, it's all a learning experience. You only get one debut at the top of the ramp with a great ring walk track as well. With that crowd all on their feet, how did you feel? Yeah, I know I have to pick a ring walk track. <laughs> I've been thinking about that for 12 years. So, uh, yeah, a lot of thought went into that. And uh, great atmosphere, great to be here. Been in Manchester all week. They've shown me so much love walking around, so much support. So thank you, everyone, for coming out. And let's hope the main event lives up to the expectations. Yeah, well said. Quick one with Ben Shalom, promoter. This is a journey that the two of you are on. Just talk us through your hopes and expectations for Fraser Clark. We're one and zero now. We're underway. Look, he did what he had to do tonight. The opponent, fair play to him, came in late. But what we saw tonight was what a fan favourite Fraser Clark is. On his pro debut, the reaction he got from 20,000 people in here says it all. And he's got big nights ahead of him. Well done, Fraser.